Hey everyone, welcome back to Ahmad One Studio. In this part, I'm gonna show you how to create this rocky and marble material. Watch this till the end. So if you want the blend file with assets, you will get it on my Patreon page. Support the channel to keep the tutorial free. Links in the description. So let's get started. Click on new. We have a principal BSDF shader. Press Shift A and search for a noise texture. If you press Ctrl Shift and select, it will preview the node and then detail to all the way up to 15 and roughness to 0.55. Take a Voronoi texture, place it here. Press Ctrl Shift and select and preview this distance. Then press Shift A and search for a color ramp and place it here and click on color then value to 0.2 hue to 0.05 saturation to 0.5 select this slider and change the color to black slide it around 0.8 click on color hue to 0.337 saturation to 0.05 value to 0.025 now select these two nodes and press shift d to duplicate and press ctrl t to add texture coordinate. Press X to delete this mapping node and plug the object to both of the vectors. I press Ctrl Shift and select and preview this noise texture. Scale to 3, then preview this Voronoi distance. Scale to 2, change F1 to distance edge. Then take a mix node, change float to color and plug this color into A and this Voronoi distance into B and plug into the base color. Factor value to 0.3 and change mix to darken. Press M to on and off. Take a color ramp. Plug into the roughness and this mix node to fact. Press Ctrl Shift and select and preview it. Slide this to around 0.18 and this one to 0.05. Click on color and value to 0.5. Select these two nodes and press Ctrl Shift D to duplicate so it will not break the connection. Preview this noise, scale to 10, roughness to 0.6 and preview this Voronoi then switch vector to randomness, scale to 15, take a bump node, place it here, switch normal to height and strength to 0.25 and plug into the normal. Press Shift D to duplicate this bump node. Place it here and plug the mix node to height. Press Ctrl Shift and select and preview this bump node and switch this height to normal otherwise it will not work and preview the principal BSDF shader. And one more thing, take this from normal and plug into the height of this bump node. Now it's working properly and it looks nice. We have these details here. Press Shift D to duplicate this bump node and place it here. Take a color ramp, plug this distance to fact and color into height, normal into normal. Preview this bump node and set the strength value to 0.35. Yeah, now look at this bump details. For me it looks nice. Now press Ctrl Shift and select this color ramp to preview it. Slide this one to 0.55. Now we have these sharp rock edges. Take a displacement node and go to texture properties and go down to settings and change this bump to displacement and bump. Now it will work properly. Take this normal into normal and scale to 0 0.02 and take this color into the height. Now preview the principal BSDF shader. You can increase this scale value if you want. Now turn on this ENV model and select it. Click on new to add a principal BSDF shader and go to the base and select all of these nodes and press Ctrl C to copy and paste it here. Plug this mix node into the base color, this color to roughness and normal into normal and plug this displacement into displacement. If it's not working, go to texture properties and go down to the settings 
and change bum to displacement and bum now it will work increase the scale value if you want i'm going to set this to 0.05 now we will create the marble texture so select this rock model and click on new so we have this default principal bsdf shader press shift a and search for a Voronoi texture switch f1 to distance a press ctrl shift and select to preview it scale to 10 press ctrl t to add texture coordinate take a noise texture put it here between texture coordinate and mapping node preview this noise texture uh, detail to 10 take a mix node place it here change float to color Take this color into A and object into B, factor to 0.55 and preview it. Look at those colors on the rocks, plug this into the vector and preview this Voronoi. Take a color ramp, place it here, slide this to 0.025 and this one to 0.05. Take a mix node, change float to color, plug color into A, select these two nodes. And press ctrl shift and d to duplicate and plug this color into b change mix to add then plug into the base color take a mix shader place it here take a glossy bsdf plug into the mix shader now plug this mix node result into color of glossy bsdf and roughness to 0.2 and it looks good and shiny now add some subsurface value so I'm going to set this to 0.25 and take geometry node and a color ramp. Plug the pointiness into fact and this color into subsurface color. Preview this color ramp and slide this to 0.5 and this one to 0.51. Very tight. Now preview this. Here we can see the subsurface and it looks better and realistic. Now select these two nodes and press ctrl shift D to duplicate and press ctrl T to add texture coordinate and duplicate this noise and put it here. Preview this Voronoi, decrease this value to 5 and preview this color ramp, this slider to 0 and this one to 0 0.08. Take this mix shader also, put it here and object into the vector and into B. Change this also to object into vector. Now take a magic texture, preview it and depth to 1, scale to 0.25, distortion to 2. Take this vector into vector, take a mix node, change float to color and plug this color into A and this color into B. Preview it to C, click on clump result and change mix to linear light. Factor 2.2, take a color ramp, slide to 0.18, click on the plus and it will add a new slider. Slide this to 0.02, click on color and add hue to 0.1, saturation to 0.9, select this one and slide to 0.05. Now take an invert node, plug this color into color and plug into metallic. Press shift D to duplicate it and plug into the roughness and this mix node result into color. Take one more mix node, place it here, change float to color, plug this color into A and this mix node into B and plug this into base color and into color of the glossy BSDF. Change this mix to multiply, factor to 0.7. Preview the mix shader to see everything. Now we will add some bump value. So press shift A and search for a bump node, plug into normal, I plug this mix node into height, preview it so the strength is too much, decrease this value to 0 0.05, press shift D to duplicate this bump node, plug this normal into normal, plug this color into height and preview this node and strength value to 0.2 or 0.25, ok, now we can see the whole thing. Press Ctrl Shift and select to preview it. You can see the bump details. Preview this node. See those details there. It looks realistic. See those subsurface in the marble. One thing you can do. Go to subsurface radius. This one to 0.9 and this one to 0.3. I think this is more realistic now. So I hope you guys learned something. And that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching till the end. And don't forget, the links will be in the description. Please create something beautiful with it and share on Instagram.
and make sure to use the hashtag Ahmad One Studio. And if you didn't saw the first part, then check out this left video. And if you want to learn soft body cloth simulation, then check out this right one.